Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. Today I'd like to talk to you again about hospitality, supernatural hospitality. Now, hospitality isn't something we can only do if we're welcoming somebody into our physical homes. It's also something we can do wherever we are, out and about, on the road, in our workplace, wherever. Because I believe hospitality begins in the heart. Now, uh, Paul writes about something like this in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 6 when he is appealing to the Corinthians to open their hearts to him. Uh, he senses there's been a kind of a freezing of the relationship going on and he says this, Oh dear Corinthian friends, we have spoken honestly with you and our hearts are open to you. There is no lack of love on our part but you have withheld your love from us. I am asking you to respond as if you were my own children. Open your hearts to us. There's a lovely idea there, an image of a, a heart being open or closed. And we instinctively know what that means. We know when somebody has closed their heart towards us, don't we? When there's a, a kind of a freezing of the relationship, when the shutters have come down, when there's a lack of trust or there's a, a negative narrative we sense or some bitterness, unforgiveness towards us in that heart. Or maybe that person is just busy and, uh, and preoccupied and so that the door of their heart has just gradually clicked shut and they don't have any time for you, or they're not available to you or present with you. We know what a closed heart feels like. Um, we don't like it, do we? But we also know what it feels like when somebody's heart is open to us, when they are available to us, when they are truly present with us, when they look us in the eye and there's no animosity in their gaze. That is what it looks like to have an open heart, to be honest and open with one another. And so this week I, I just want to encourage you, uh, whoever you might meet, Whoever you might encounter, whether it's a friend, a family member, a colleague or a stranger, to consciously have in mind that metaphor of an open or closed heart and to consciously choose to open your heart towards the other. It's a very precious gift to give somebody your attention. People in our world are starving for the gift of time and energy and attention, of an open heart. And I believe that as we open our hearts towards others, we'll see the door of their hearts open towards us. And in fact, in the world, we'll see more and more doors of opportunity open up to us because God love, God's love is flowing through us. And so today, this week, seek to be open-hearted towards others.